Should NASCAR penalize Bubba Wallace for his post-race contact with Alex Bowman? Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Yeah, should NASCAR penalize Bubba Wallace for his post-race contact with Alex Bowman, the race winner, on the cool-down lap, if you missed it, coming over the bridge back down to the final turn out on the front stretch. Uh, Bubba Wallace pulls up alongside Alex Bowman and gives him a little hip check, hits him into the wall right there. Both of them had their window nets down. Both of them were still strapped in, uh, just voicing his displeasure over the fact that the 48 spun him out earlier in the race. And of course, of course, people on social media were like, suspend Bubba Wallace. He needs to be sat out a race, a week, uh, multiple races, anything. Fine him. Take his points away. Kick him out of the sport in general. What about Chase Elliott? He did the same thing on the cooldown lap. He ran into Daniel Suarez, which you can see right here. He just drives up and hits Suarez, which he wasn't happy about, right? Suarez punted him in the final uh, corner of the race. Chase, not happy about it. They got out and had an animated discussion afterwards. And yeah, nobody wants to talk about Chase Elliott getting suspended. What about when Martin Truex Jr. did it back at Richmond earlier this year when he ran into the back of his teammate, Denny Hamlin, or when Kyle Larson doored Martin Truex Jr. after the start-finish line at that same race at Richmond? Nobody's calling for suspensions back then. Everybody's like, oh, Martin's just fired up. I get why he's upset. He's angry. Chase Elliott, silence. You could hear a mouse run across the church. That's how silent it was. Nobody wants to talk about that, but then when Bubba Wallace does it, then we got to suspend him. I'm not being out here. I'm not out here trying to be a Bubba supporter. I'm indifferent. I like the guy. I think he's good for the sport. I don't think people necessarily understand the impact that he has on the sport and what he brings to the sport because they're blinded by other things, but I think Bubba is good for the sport. And I'm going to call it like it is because, well, he didn't do anything that nobody else has done before. We've seen this happen plenty of times. Are people... People get their panties so much in a wad over things like this, but would you have done the same thing when Earnhardt was doing this back in the day? When Jeremy Mayfield won his first race at Pocono and had to move Earnhardt out of the way and Earnhardt came down and kind of gave him that side smack, would you guys have freaked out about that and said Earnhardt needs to be suspended? No, absolutely would not have. But now when Bubba does it, then we have to go out there and suspend him. No, and Alex Bowman was even asked about it in his post-race press conference, and this was his face when asked about if Bubba should be penalized or suspended or anything like that. And yeah, no, he's like, yeah, he apologized. Bowman got out of the car in victory lane. The first thing he did was apologize to Bubba Wallace and his team for spending them out because it was completely unnecessary. It was an, uh, it was an unforced error. It was just bad. It was unfortunate, and, and you know, Bowman didn't want to do that. It wasn't the plan right there, but... He then gets asked about in the press conference, and he's like, no, he shouldn't be penalized or suspended or anything like that. And he's like, it was very warranted. And that's what racing is. What happened to rubbing is racing. Boys have at it. These guys, everybody's like, oh, Days of Thunder was a great movie. People love referencing Days of Thunder, this and that. And then when they actually do things like Days of Thunder, where they're going out there and, you know, a little rubbing is racing after the race, people are all upset about it. We need more emotion in the sport. These guys don't have personalities. And then they get all fiery and everybody's like, suspend him. Well, specifically one person. Uh, suspend him type of thing. So, no, Bubba Wallace should not be suspended. There's no precedent for this. I saw people being like, if you're going to uh, fine Carson Hosovar for what he did, Last week at Gateway, under caution, when he intentionally spun out Harrison Burton, even though he says he didn't, it does very much appear like he did, and that's probably why NASCAR fined him, and that's why the team did not appeal. There's not the same thing. It's just not the same thing. It's not a precedent. Not for what Bubba did. There's no precedent for that. There is, but not for what he did. That's not that bad. So people being like, well, you got to do the same thing for Bubba that you did to Carson. Well, no, because, again, they're very different. Wrecking somebody under caution is far different than wrecking somebody at the end of the race. And I can't even call it wrecking because he just sideswiped him, essentially. It's not that big of a deal. Now, if they came on to pit road and, you know, he was stopped on pit road getting out of the car and he runs into the back of Alex Bowman while he's unbuckled. Yeah, that's that's really bad. We've seen instances like that before um, where guys have taken their belts off and then somebody comes up and drives into the side of them and slams them. I'm pretty sure Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick and maybe Brad Matkins, all guys like that have been involved in a situation like that a time or two. But for the most part, that was a pretty much pretty non-starter in terms of, you know, egregious things that were happening on the racetrack. I mean, Ross Chastain, he assaulted a tire barrier after the race and drove completely through it, which is honestly impressive considering everybody else got stuck in it. Nobody wants him to go apologize to the tire barrier. And I still will continue to go back to the Chase Elliott, Daniel Suarez thing because nobody wants to talk about that. But we're going to all keep talking about the Bubba Wallace Alex Bowman thing, I guess probably because it made TV and the other one uh, didn't. At the end of the day, 
no, what Bubba did was not that bad. He should not be suspended. People in the comments were going, or you're going to tell me why, which I'm fine with, right? That's one of the big things on this channel. I have an opinion, you have an opinion. I'm never going to get mad at people for having opinions. I don't want everybody to think the same way and I want to hear your opinion. But when you look at it, if you're going to say the same thing about Bubba, you gotta say the same thing about Chase Elliott because in both instances, it was the scorned party going down and hitting the um, the party that, that caused it. I'm missing a word there. My brain's blanked. It's burned out from the weekend. So yes, let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hardball.